All right, so we're here with, what's your name? Uh, Mercy. Mercy, and your name? Slump. Slump? Sabas. Sebastian and Laura. Sebastian. And are you guys homeless right now? Yeah. Yeah? Can you tell me a little bit about how that happened? Uh, well, I mean, we both come from basically broken homes, I guess yeah. you can my say. My dad it. beat me my whole life. And then uh, he got me molested by his uh, friends. He sold me for something he owed. And I got homeless at 12 years old. After that, I've been homeless by myself ever since. I was gonna kill myself when I turned, like what, 17? And then I met her. And oh I'm, yeah? And I'm 19 years old now, so. And you I met know, her when you were 17? How old are you right now? 19. 18? I, uh, 19. I just 19. turned this, I've been homeless for like six years. Yeah. So you guys been together like two years? Yeah. Yeah. That's good, man. Two, two years, five months. And like, Every day we we wake up, we sleep, we shower, you know, we eat, we do Sorry, everything fuck, together. Fuck. I mean, like every Is it day. Hard out here in the streets? Yeah, and sometimes it gets very tiring waking up, like doing the same shit basically every day. To be honest, like she's been at the point that she slept up. I went to jail one time, and she woke, fell asleep in a bus stop, woke up in a guy's car butt naked, almost got raped. I had a miscarriage because that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much hard as fuck. I mean, we, we, uh, He's yeah. been in jail four times since I've been with him, and every time that he went to jail, yeah. I've been sitting here waiting for him to get out every time. I mean, to be honest, That's though, good, like, man. It's really hard. Like, we also a lot of panhandle, but people don't really care. They just give you money to get the fuck out of the face. Like, I'm we sorry. detail cars, you know, like, we basically do anything we can just to make it through the day, you know, make sure we eat, make sure that we can support it, everything that we do. Up. It's hard, though, to be honest. A lot of people are rude sometimes. Yeah, we go through all shit, especially for yeah. a girl. It takes more for me. Yeah, especially every time we try and ask, you know, somebody for help, like, mostly men, you know, ask for sex. Yeah. yeah. He's been stabbed twice. Damn, bro. That's just and that was out here in the streets? Yeah. 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 What was that about? It was it a dispute over? They tried, they tried to molest her. Oh, they tried to yeah. get at your girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like yeah, it wasn't good, so I started. I wanted to go square up to the guy, and he's like pulled a knife on me. I didn't even know I was stabbed until afterwards. Dude. Yeah. Like I don't know, bro. Most I can tell you is it's hard as fuck, but it teaches you a lot, though. It yeah. makes you more humble than it breaks you. you know? Yeah. What breaks you makes you. Makes you, know? you a lot more strong-minded than you know you would being indoors. Prepares you for a lot more stuff. We go, we go through a lot of shit. And when she's 21 and I'm 19, so to be young like that shit in the street is a lot. Especially yeah. when nobody gives you, nobody cares. You know? So how did you grow up? Um, did you grow up in, uh, um, was it, um, what, are, is, what are those? Uh, well, my mom. A home or? Yeah, it was uh, basically a broken home. Like my mom, she had, uh, my stepfather at the time staying with us, and he didn't want anything to do with me and my two older sisters. He only wanted his daughters, his biological daughters, my two youngest sisters, to be a part of you know their family. So what happened to me and my two older sisters? We all got locked in our rooms, you know, yeah. like forgotten about. Like I was basically neglected by my mother, like emotionally and physically. And mentally, at the same time, it really fucks you up. My yeah, dad, my biological father, um, was out of my life the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like, he was in prison, mostly, but, like, when he got out, he had a stack of letters like this from me, just writing him on a daily. And, you know, I've helped him pay his bail before, you know. I've, I was basically one of his only children that cared about him, and he has a lot, and I was the only one that he didn't care about. And where's your dad now? My my dad, my my stepfather, but I consider him my real father. He's like my best friend. You know, um, him and my mom were together for 13 years, and out of the blue one night, he just left and didn't say anything. Yeah. And it fucked my mom up mentally. Like, she's, she's not the same person no more. Yeah. She can't even sit there and have, like, a full conversation with you. What about your mom? Where, where is she at right now? Right now, um, she's with my oldest sister, and my oldest sister, she's really, she's a really mean person. You know, she, she treats my mom like shit. Like, yeah. 
like like a dog kind of because my mom ever since my dad left her she's been using drugs you know like, yeah. so she never sleeps you know she's what kind of drugs is she using um she uses uh, meth amphetamines and she does blues yeah. and you know most of the time she'll sit there like either you know tweaked out you know and like she just like fucks around with everything like she'll get into everything and, like if if you were in a house with her and like you had your own drugs you know like and you left it sitting out she take it and like you know like when you go to sleep she'll, she'll dig around and try to find your like trays and shit like shit like that and it's fucked up because my mom never used to be like that yeah and that all started happening when your dad well, it, it had started beginning a little bit before my dad had left. And that's the whole reason why he did. And oh, okay. my dad didn't want to live like that. My dad actually wanted to get a job. He wanted to do better. I actually see my dad twice after my mom had left. He found me and I couldn't stop crying. That's sad, man. So what about drug use? Do you guys do any drugs? Um, we, um, we're slowly weaning ourselves off of blues because we're tired of having to wake up every morning and doing the same shit. How does it feel like when you, when you take the blues and like the next day, how does it feel like, um... When you're without it, it feels like you're going through hell. Like, yeah. it, you get sharp pains, you constantly throw up yellow stuff and it tastes disgusting. It's just for a woman, it's like, uh, it's like... Yeah, when you're a woman, you don't have your period because, you know, the blues fuck with your cycle so much, yeah. you know, like, and once you stop doing them, your whole body starts, like, morphing back to the way it used to be, and it hurts so them. bad. Yeah, like, put yourself in my shoes, you know, just don't think about the other side. That's what she taught me. She's basically like my mom, but she's my fiance. She's my wife for me. I have no mom. She raises me. But she teaches me everything I know, to be honest. All I can tell you is that, bro, it goes at a point that you stare at a piece of foil and you cry because how much, you, you know, you should have You seen. hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up. Bro. But it's like, it's like, it's like a sickness. I wish we had, uh, to be honest, I wish we could go, like, tell kids before they turn homeless. Like, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, we, like, let people know how it is before it happens. If I had a chance to do that, bro, then, oh, my God. If I had a time machine, I would go back, like, for real, it's real shit. Do you guys plan to get off of the, the pills? Like, well, I can to, tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you, yeah, I feel but I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, you feel me? Yeah. It's not as easy as just, like, just... It's not that easy, you know? Yeah, you can't, up, yeah, you can't just say, you can't just say that you're going to do it and, like, you know, have it happen like that, you know, it's... Like, it's a lot what harder. Is it, what is it that you have to do? Like, do you have to mentally prepare yourself? Yeah, you do. You really do. or... or Both. Yeah. Actually. Because, like, um, physically... You're gonna have to prepare your body for that whole throwing up, all the pain in your stomach, you know. And like mentally, you have to prepare yourself in a way because you want to hit it. You just want to hit so bad, and it's like your whole body will start like feeling like it's tightening. Like your legs will start kicking. You'll sweat. Yeah. It, it's it sucks. It really does. And I've gotten clean before because I had a daughter, she's five years old now, and she's with my cousin because her and her girlfriend couldn't have kids. Yeah. And that's what my daughter was for. You know, my daughter, she went and lived with, she's living with them now, and she's, she's spoiled, she has a good life, and that's honestly what I would want her to have. I wouldn't want her to have the kind of life that I had. Yeah. I want her to have better. Like, like I got clean a whole year fighting for my daughter. I did PSI testing. I jumped through all the hoops that they wanted to. And the plan was family reunification. And because my mom and my boyfriend at the time were doing meth, it was labeled an unstable home environment. And yeah. without choice, I had nothing I could do. They took her at three weeks old. At three weeks old. I haven't seen my daughter since she was two. I have a daughter too. That's really sad, man. It took her, I have a daughter too, it took her away. And it sucks because, like, carrying something for nine months and just having it ripped from your arms and you have no choice whether or not to stop it, it hurts. Like, you feel it, like, right here, bro, like, in your throat. Like, the kind of shit that you can't even finish talking whenever you even think about it. I don't recommend this shit for nobody, but nobody really listens. Yeah, so, like, for youngsters out there that are going to watch your videos and they're thinking about, like, the 
doing the drugs and, and experimenting and hanging out with the homies on the street. Thinking it's cool. Thinking it's cool. What do you guys have to say to people like that? There ain't nothing cool about it, bro. Know, homies, bro. Sitting in alleys, smoking trays and shit, getting a chance of being caught up just for even doing it, it's just not cool, bro. To be honest, bro, like, you, like, by the time you know it, fool, you're like a year past and you think it's yesterday. And then yeah. you just look at yourself and then you look at the way things used to be and you miss it so much and all you can think is, what the fuck happened? What did I do? Life's too short, dog. Life is short, short man, and it like goes by a, really yeah, quick. Yeah, like in a blink of an eye, dog, you'd be at one point and then like a year later, you're like, damn, fool. Like if it was yesterday, that moment, you looked like, when you get lost for a second, you're like, fuck. And then boom, like a year later, you're in a different picture, you understand? Know I recommend this shit for nobody. So like, bro, y'all niggas are doing that shit. All right, for my last question, if you guys can change one thing in your life, what would it be? Doing drugs. Doing drugs? Yeah. What about you? Doing drugs. Same thing? Yeah. You know, because Because it drugs, takes away everything, bro. Because drugs, dog, I didn't get it. I didn't get to go to my, my best friend, you know, because of drugs. I could have, I could see, I could have talked to him for the last time, but I didn't. And I'd rather go hit a pill. And six hours later, my best friend was dead. So, Damn, bro. I lost two of my best friends. One was shot eight times. Mm-hmm. They pissed in his face. I could have talked to him, but I argued to him about drugs, so I didn't get no last words with him. The other one, it was the same shit six hours later. Mm-hmm. I had to tell you, it was just too much. Was your homie on the pills too, or? Was it, nah. It's just that the pills, for okay. And when I went, when I didn't do no pills, I had, like I could say I had everything, but well, right now I feel like I've hurt more. Even though I'm broke, I'm yeah. rich. But, and then I started doing pills, I lost everything. I lost my daughter, I lost my mom, I lost my dad, my home, my dog that I had since I was like this high, bro. I could tell you this, like, Yeah, man. All right, man. Well, I appreciate the interview, man. Thank you. <laughs>